All right, today we're gonna to do something a little different. I'm gonna do a twofer on the Traeger. Welcome to the Picky Eater channel. I'm Tony, and today we're gonna to be doing something on the Traeger. I I've done Blackstone videos on here, which I still love the Blackstone. It's great for anything griddle, but you know, the Traeger. Now, I have a brother-in-law that works for Traeger. He's been telling me about them all this time. He's been like, dude, you can make pies in this thing. You can make stew in it. You can make brisket. You can do anything. And well, I have been. I've been doing a bunch of stuff. It's been cold out there. So doing videos out there was really not <laughs> exactly what I wanted to do in the cold. But it's warming up. So maybe we'll do a little bit more of this on the channel. Sound good? Well, today what we're going to do is well, something that I haven't tried yet, well, it's kind of a combo of things that I've tried. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some spiraled hot dogs, which we've done on the Blackstone, but I'm going to do them on here. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to take those and I'm going to wrap them in croissant, kind of like you would with a, well, not kind of, but like a pig in a blanket, right? But I'm going to stuff it with some chili, chili from Wiener Schnitzel, which, man, this stuff is good. And I'm going to put some cheese in there and I, whatever else I figure out that I want to put in there. So I've got the Traeger started right now, but earlier today, I was making jerky. Now, I didn't film the whole thing from the beginning to end, so I'm not going to count this as a full jerky video, but maybe we'll do some of those because I've been doing a different jerky every week. I've done, uh, let's see, I did A1 steak sauce. I did Dr. Pepper jerky. I also did, uh, oh, I did Old Bay last week. It was marinated in beer in Old Bay. So this week I did a crushed pineapple and teriyaki and man, this stuff is really good. Well, of course I've already done it. So I went ahead and filmed some of that. I'm going to show you how I do jerky on the, on the Traeger and maybe we'll do a full jerky video in the future. But today we're really focusing on these hot dogs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spiral these things up and then we're going to put them on the grill. Uh, right now it's set at 375. I like my hot dogs pretty burnt. So we're going to burn these things up and then we're going to wrap them up and we'll put them back on there and see how it turns out. So this has been marinating since, oh, about 3 o'clock yesterday, and right now it's about 9.30. Usually I try to put the jerky on at about 10 o'clock and take it off at 1 o'clock. Stuff is cut about a quarter of an inch thick. And inside of here I've got teriyaki, soy sauce, Worcestershire, onion powder, garlic powder, two cans, because this is two pounds of meat, two cans of shredded pineapple, and the juice from the can as well. So yeah, this is gonna be good right here, boy. All right, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you an, an idea of the jerky. So yeah, I put the paper towel on the sheet pan. It's got a little lip right here to keep the liquids from going that way if they happen to. And of course the sink is over there. I just take out one slice at a time, lay it on that, flip it over, lay it on there again, just to kind of just pat it dry. And then I lay them out on here, and then I will take them out there and put them on the grill, which is smoking away out there right now, getting up to temperature. And boy, I tell you what, nothing like seeing all that smoke out there. I wear this coat, at least I call it my smoking jacket, because uh, if it's even a little bit chilly out there, I'll throw this thing on just to make sure that I don't get smoke all over my clothes. So it's my smoking jacket. Okay, so I like to wear gloves when I do this. Just gonna take a piece of it out of here, just like this. And with the crushed pineapple like that, you'll get little bits of pineapple that will stick to it. So that is nice. All right, so just get the big piece out like that. And so I've been buying these pieces. Let me show you this. So these pieces like this, this I get just at the local grocery store. There we go. Yeah, I get them at the local grocery store and it's top round and it's already cut already sliced like this so it's nice nice big pieces I was getting little strips but unfortunately the little strips they require quite a bit of uh, extra work so you're gonna go through a few paper towels with this but yeah the little strips they require extra work you know if you get stir-fry meat or whatever because you got to lay all those little strips out there on the on the grate. But this way, you just get nice big slices, and we'll just lay all those out there like that. So, yeah, we just continue until you get the whole bag of these dabbed off like that. And I just stack them like that until I get out there and I put them on the grill. All right, so I end up with a stack of meat just like that. I'm going to throw away all this right here, and I'm going to take this out, just this whole big tray, out to the Traeger, and then I can just lay it all out onto the uh, onto the grates. Okay, pretty simple. All right, I'm just gonna open her up. 
Got this whole tray of meat right here. So as you can see, you can get a lot of smoke. That's why the smoking jacket. So I've got the smaller grate out of here right now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take these pieces and we're just gonna slap them in here. Boy, that's a lot of smoke. Just like that. It's pretty easy. We're just gonna lay them out here on the grates, close her up. We're at 165 degrees for the temperature here. It's gonna smoke for three hours and about halfway through I'll come out and I'll flip them. It's pretty much just that easy. All right, so we got all the meat on there and we're gonna close her up. We'll see that in about an hour and a half. So maybe I'll do a full video showing you from beginning to end jerky one day, but this is a little bonus supplemental to the hot dog video today for the Traeger. After it comes off of there, that was in there for about three and a half hours. You just put it inside of a bag. You wanna leave it sitting at room temperature for probably about 45 minutes or so. The bag might get some moisture in it and that's fine because any moisture that's in there will get redistributed throughout all the meat, but that is good. And here's some of it all cut up over here. That's the way I do it. Yeah. All right, we gotta get making these wieners. So if you're gonna do this right, you know, you gotta have some good ingredients to start with. Wiener schnitzel chili sauce. Now this stuff, it's kind of hard to get. You can't get it online or anything like that. You have to actually go to a wiener schnitzel. We don't have those in North Carolina, but luckily my mama in San Diego will send me some every once in a while. You have to actually go in. I don't even know if you can still get it, but this stuff is so good that I don't want to waste it. I'm going to use half of this and then I'm going to seal a meal, the other half, and put it in the freezer. So the first thing I do is I'll take these hot dogs. I'm just going to make four of them because normally you've got the eight triangles of croissant, right? But I'm not gonna do it that way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, four actual rectangles so that it fully engulfs the dog and it's a complete little pocket, right? Okay, well, let's do this. So we're gonna spiral them. I like to do this because, well, I like my hot dogs really done and this way they cook inside and out. So we just kind of turn the hot dog as you roll, but you need a good sharp knife to be able to do that. Yep. Just like that. Okay. Now you're not like cutting all the way into it. You know, you're just kind of scoring this hot dog in a spiral fashion. Just like that. All right, we're gonna take those out. We're gonna put those on the grill. We're gonna get those nice and crispy. Ooh wee, but I do wanna show you this. Look at that. That's my haul of jerky from today. That is pretty nice. Let me just pull a piece out here so you can see it. Oh boy, look at that, huh? That is pretty. Still little pieces of shredded pineapple stuck to it. Got a little bit of flex to it. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Meanwhile, I got the Wiener Schnitzel chili sauce in here. And like I said, I don't need a whole lot of it because we're just gonna put that inside of these things. So I went ahead and used the seal meal and saved some of that in the freezer. Well, there's my little garden. That's the first time I've ever tried to have a garden, but yeah, it's just a red uh, bell pepper and some cucumber. Okay, we got scored wieners and a Traeger. Traeger is set at 375, it's up at 380 right now. Now this won't take but a few minutes for these things to get nice and crispy. Now, like I said, my wife and I like our hot dogs just burnt. So if you don't like your hot dogs burnt, please just, just close your eyes for a minute. So, you know, usually with a pig in a blanket, the pig is gonna be sticking out either ends of the blanket, right? But in this case, this is gonna be completely encapsulated like, like, a, like a Snuggie. I don't know, but it's going to be, um, it's going to be good. And because these are going to be dough and I don't want to put them right on the grill grates, we're going to stick them in these little pans. I love these little pans. They're just perfect. They're like five bucks at Walmart. Perfect little pans for a lot of stuff that I do on that Traeger. All right, so I'd set the timer for like about know, six minutes or so, but yeah, nice. Nice, see? So once they've been in there and they're cooking for a little bit, that's what we get. They start to open up. I usually do the spiral a little bit tighter. But yeah, you can see that the dog itself opens up and just gets cooked inside. Kind of like that. The more 
the tighter that you make the spiral, the more you get that cooked inside. You know? So I just realized we don't have any kind of potato fries or anything like that in the freezer. So um, this is what we're going to have. These, right, I don't even have the package anymore for this, but if they look familiar, they are Utz cheese balls, right? So they're meant to, there we go. That's, and now you got the full effect of that. The Utz cheese ball, and I've, we ate half of the box, and this is what we have left here. I don't like keeping the boxes. Everything cooks the same in one of these air fryers, though, right? So uh, well, I'm going to cook those up, and we're going to include those. They're just like the big tub of cheese balls that you get, and it's cheesy stuff on the outside and cheese on the inside. They're delicious. I'd say those are ready to come off of there. Yeah. That is just... So, you know, we don't have to make them completely charred because those are definitely cooked. You know, skinless dogs. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to take those inside. I'm going to go ahead and wrap them up and we'll see how they come out. Okay, so I've got the hot dogs off the grill. They're cooling right now. I've got some cheese out here. I've got the crescents and we're ready to pop this thing. Uh, I'm going to wrap these up with some chili inside of it. It is just going to be so good. Oh, man, I cannot wait. Okay, well, let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and tear this off of here. There we go. Oh, yes. All right, so normally you would have, you know, eight of these little triangles, but instead I'm just going to break this in half. Okay. And then we'll just go like this. Boy, we have a new wind chime out front, and it, it's loud, huh? All right, we'll do it like that. So now I'll just use this entire thing instead of using just the little, you know, little thing. Right, now I'll just lay this down. And I'll take a hot dog. I want to make sure that this thing is stretched out a little bit because I want it to go the full length of the hot dog. And it's okay with that little part in the middle. We can just pinch that together. There we go. Okay. So the full length of the hot dog is in there. I'm going to put the hot dog about right here now. Because if you're doing it with the triangle, you know, with that triangle, you have to put it back here at the end and then roll it. But this is okay. I can do it just like that. I'm going to put a half a slice of white American cheese in there. And half a slice of Tillamook Sharp Cheddar. This is the farm style thick cut stuff, all right? Oh, I'll put that underneath. How about that? It's kind of making this up as I go along, you know? It's all right if it doesn't fit the entire length of the hot dog because we can always stretch it out later. Got a little bit of our chili. Oh, man. That is going to be so good. Just like that. And then I have this cheese here. It's New Bridge Swiss and Almond Cheese Spread. And I'm just going to put a little dollop of that in here. Yeah, as you can see, I kind of work as I go along sometimes. I'm just creating. I'm, I'm painting as I go along. There we go. Okay. So now we'll just roll that up. Okay. And then I'm going to seal it all up on any of the parts that might not be sealed up here. All the little holes and stuff. I'm just going to make it a little pouch. Then I'm going to put it on the pan just like that. Now some of these little holes, they might not seal up. And we'll just do that until we've got them all, all done. Okay, I got a little bit better at it along the way. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through and I'm kind of pinching the two of them together just to prevent all those holes from having any problems later. Just do that. And once I get those holes kind of shored up, I just give it a little stretch. And I found that if you put the hot dog a little bit further up so you can get the roll over it, then you're good there. All right. So that, and that cheese, a blob of this, and some chili. Then you can kind of take this back piece, stretch it up over, and get it started. Oh, this one's going to be a little messier. Oh yeah, of course I spoke too soon. But there we go. And the key is getting this stuff, the dough, to stick before the chili gets on it. Because the chili makes it slippery. I'm going to guess because the oil's in it. So if we can get this, there we go. See, like that. You just want to get that dough 
together before the chili squeezes through it. Nice little bundle. All right, well, we got four of them. They're ready to go. I'm gonna get them out there on the grill. And well, I'll just follow the directions for the croissants. Nine to 12 minutes at 375. And these should be just wonderful. So they'll be kind of smoky and baked all at the same time. And yeah, you can do that on the trailer. Okay. So I've got them in here at uh, 375. They're gonna be in here for nine to 12 minutes. I'll check them here a little bit. I did spray the pan with, uh, well, those two pans with some olive oil. So should be good to go. All right, let's see, I can smell them now. Ooh, boy, they still aren't quite done, but they are looking good, almost like a pierogi or something. All right, well, wifey's now off work, so she's got the camera, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh my goodness, look at that. They're like kolaches or whatever you want to call them, but they are delicious looking. Oh my. We can see that on this one, I did really good with my wrapping. This one, not quite as good, but they're still going to be both just delicious. All right, let's go inside. So what did you just say it looked like? Calzone. Yeah, it kind of does look like a calzone, right? Well, you know what? I, I, I just want to cut into one of these just to see. And we'll show you what it looks like. All right, well, let's cut into this one right here because it's already the messiest one. Oh, there we go. Ooh, all that cheesy goodness. Mmm. Well, I tell you what, I am ready. I am I'm pr pretty much hangry. Uh, inside the air fryer, we've got the Utz cheese balls. We're going to plate that up. We're going to enjoy it. So we're going to let you go now. Hey, listen, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode. I look forward to doing more Traeger, more Blackstone now that the weather's getting better. It is the East Coast, man, North Carolina, and it, it does get a little bit chilly out there. So I'm ready to roll with it, though, and hopefully you will be enjoying the videos with me. And I want to thank you for being here today. Well, that's it for this episode. Catch you next time on the Picky Eater channel.